Hey guys, so it is Saturday evening and uh, I'm tired. I got home and I put my hair up and I put on my loungy clothes. Um, but I wanted to show you what we made or what I made at the uh, herb garden class. <laughs> I keep wanting to say herb growing class, but it was more of gardening herbs that have already been grown. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit loopy. Um, <clears throat> So, yes, it was a really fun class. It was $30. It was at a local farm and it was just really relaxed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, they had everything on a big table. We were in direct sunlight, so I was very thankful that I wore sunscreen. And I brought gloves to protect my nails because I got my nails done this morning. And, um, yeah, so they had kind of some round centerpieces and then <coughs> excuse me uh we could choose kind of what we want so he talked about herbs and using them in teas using them in drinks using them in cooking like savory dishes and then from there we could go pick out the herbs that we wanted and then we came back and planted them so here is my planter i tried to make it aesthetically pleasing I'm not sure how good the lighting is. And I think I'm gonna hold it up here so I can tell you what I've got. So down at the bottom here is rosemary. This is thyme. In the middle is cilantro. On this side is lemon verbena. And at the top, this tall guy is mint. And then over here is lavender. Kinda off to the side there. So they are pretty big, um, it does need some pruning. So the mint he suggested taking off to about here. Um, my intention for the mint is to use it in water and lemonade and just basically to flavor drinks. Same thing with lavender, although I might look, depending on how good the lavender does, I might um, try to do like some sort of sea salt scrub or something beauty related. The lemon verbena, um, he suggested to use in cooking, cilantro, of course, in cooking, uh, thyme and rosemary. Um, he did suggest using rosemary in drinks as well. And yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for herbs or you use herbs a lot, I am completely open to feedback. I did see a thing on Pinterest um, where someone took herbs and chopped them put them in a uh, ice cube tray and then filled it with oil and froze it. And then you had little oil, um, herb oil, you know, cubes. And then you put them in a Ziploc and then for cooking, you can just take out a cube and use it. So uh, I think that's a really great idea. So yeah, I'm excited and I also, <laughs> I posted this on Facebook, but um, I decided I wanted to get an outdoor chair. And it's actually a really great NSV, uh, non-scale victory. A few weekends ago, I was at my aunt and uncle's house, and you know those plastic chairs? They're kind of low to the ground. I just never felt comfortable trying to even sit in them because, number one, I thought I'd have a hard time getting up because I was so heavy, and number two, I had sat in chairs, even higher up chairs, that were those plastic and they just cut into my skin and were really uncomfortable. And when I was at my uncle's house a few weekends ago, I was able to sit in it just fine. Like no problems at all and it was kind of comfortable. It was comfortable. So uh, I decided I wanted to buy one and so I went to the Home Depot today and bought one. And then the guy's like, you know, oh do you want help out? And I was like, sure. And. Uh, I'm glad he was there because we had a heck of a time getting it in my car. Wouldn't go in the trunk, wouldn't go in the back seat. I mean, we must have spent a good 10 minutes, maybe 15, just like trying everything. I was just so disheartened. And then this nice lady came by and she's like, well, if you turn it upside down and put it in the front passenger seat. And we're like, no, that's not gonna work. And then we tried it and it worked. <laughs> Thank you.
thank goodness for that lady uh so i it was a little bit uncomfortable obviously driving because i've got this chair right here um, but getting it out came out just fine and i'm so happy to have it and i'm really looking forward to sitting there in the mornings and journaling and listening to the birds and just relaxing so it's been a really great day <sighs> really great day so i hope you guys have had a great day too and i will i do want to say too sorry i was just wrapping it up but i did go to the grocery store <clears throat> and um i thought about doing a grocery haul but i've already put it all away i don't know i'm pouting now but basically long story short i got salmon so my intention is to make up a few meals and then um, put them in the fridge so i want to do salmon and frozen vegetables and uh what did i get oh i was gonna do um sweet potatoes with the salmon which i've done in the past i actually used to do that in 2011 and 12 when i was getting ready for surgery uh, i did sweet potatoes with chicken and with fish quite a bit so um yeah and then lunches this week is going to be slices of ham and then carrot slices and then um, some jalapeno ranch dip which i used to do in the past I, again i go through food phases you guys have heard me say this before uh, but that's what i've chosen for this week's menu basically uh, breakfast is pretty much always the same yogurt and rice cakes and yeah so maybe i'll film more on that tomorrow i haven't decided yet i'm pretty tired tonight i'm gonna work on dishes and maybe start some of the meal prep um, I do need to go by Costco tomorrow after OA and then get the ham that I like that I've been getting. You guys have seen it. And then, um, a big thing is strawberries. I did buy some pineapple, um, at the grocery store today. And so I might do like a mixture of pineapple and strawberries. So anyway, I am going to insert some pictures from the farm. We had a really good time. They had a ton of hanging baskets and there was one that was literally like, huge so i took a picture next to it just so you could see how big it was so i'll talk to you guys later bye